What could a prehistoric flying species pack look like for Jurassic World Evolution 2? This is a question that people have actually been asking for, especially with this latest DLC announcement and release. As you all know, we have recently received the announcement and release of the Prehistoric Marine Species Pack. This has fueled speculation and actually has begun discussions on whether or not we could be seeing a flying species pack later in Jurassic World Evolution 2's future. I definitely do think that this is a possibility and should honestly happen. It would be very odd to receive a marine species pack and not a flying species pack. As that DLC has actually come out and been announced, I definitely do think this has a higher possibility to occur than ever before. But let's move on to what actually could be included in this DLC. There's a lot of different animals to choose from, coming from either the Mesozoic or even other time periods. Let's actually focus on the Mesozoic. The Mesozoic has a lot of different options to choose from. One of the most notable species is the Nyctosaurus. With its very unique looking crest, this animal would be an amazing new addition and would be entirely unique and be nothing like we have currently in game. When the Lake Cretaceous DLC came out, the Barbarodactylus for some reason was chosen over this animal. I'm very confused on why the Barbarodactylus was chosen over the Nyctosaurus, and I definitely do think this animal should have been included in that pack instead of the Barbarodactylus. But I feel like if a flying pack were to occur, that the Nyctosaurus would be a no-brainer to add in, and would definitely be one of our more unique looking animals. Now, the next three species I'm going to list off, honestly, I definitely do think they could all fit a similar role being a smaller animal in this pack. The Remphronychus, Archaeopteryx, and Microraptor are all different species from the Mesozoic. The Microraptor is actually a real full flying dinosaur and not a flying reptile like the Nyctosaurus or Quetzalcoatlus. All three of these animals are actually feathered, and I honestly thought that one of these three was going to be chosen over the Jacolopterus to be included in the feathered species pack all the way back in March. But if we were to receive a flying species pack, one of these three should definitely be included. Now, how about we focus on some more larger pterosaurs? The Hexagopteryx definitely be considered at least for this pack. Our only Adzarkid right now is the Quetzalcoatlus, and that's our currently only large pterosaur. I definitely do think we should at least receive one more large pterosaur, so we can at least have a similar animal to the Quetzalcoatlus. Hatsagopteryx is honestly the second most popular Adzarkid next to the Quetzalcoatlus, so I definitely do think this animal could be included. And they could actually give it a lot of different unique looking features to make it stand out from the Quetzalcoatlus. But now, let's focus on some more unique looking pterosaurs. Pterodostra and Thassalodromius are actually two very unique looking animals. The Pterodostra has a very unique looking beak. It was actually a filter feeder, and is honestly one of the more requested pterosaurs to be added into this game due to how unique it is. Thassalodromius is also a name I see thrown around time and time again when I look at possible suggestions for a flying pack. Its crest is actually incredibly unique and would give us more variety in our pterosaurs. But now how about we move away from the Mesozoic and focus on other time periods. In reality, from the Paleozoic there is not a lot of options to choose from when it comes to flying species. But there is actually one very unlikely animal that could be added in, the Meganeura. The Meganeura is actually a very unique looking species, extinct species of insects from the late Carboniferous period. They were to be added, the second oldest animal in the game, right next to the Dunkleostis. I definitely do think that there are better options and not just to add a huge insect to the game. I definitely wouldn't be against it, and of course it's also very possible that Frontier could add this animal in. But of course, there's also much more unique looking choices in reality, as I don't really think people would like a huge flying bug in their game. Now, moving on to actually a different time period, all the way past the dinosaurs, would be some more flying animals from the Cenozoic era. I know the Cenozoic is uncharted territory for Jurassic World Evolution 2, but I definitely do think that it should at least be considered. As the Dunkleostis was from the Devonian period, which is an era that wasn't represented until the Marine Species Pack. Argentavis is actually a very unique looking animal and could fit well for our aviaries. The Hast Eagle is also another species that I see could be added in a potential flying species pack. The Argentavis is actually a very unique looking animal. Resembling a huge flying bird, this animal would actually be around the size of a regular pterosaur and could definitely be added in this potential DLC. But it is from the Cenozoic and it could actually further convince us that we will be receiving a Cenozoic DLC eventually in this game. Another animal from the Cenozoic is the Hast Eagle, basically being a humongous eagle, and this would actually be a very unique species and would be a very cool addition to be added. Both the Argentavis and Hast Eagle should at least be somewhat considered for this DLC if we are going to receive a Cenozoic DLC in the future.
But now that we've moved on from the potential DLC, how about we move on to the free update that could coincide with this DLC. As we've recently seen, lots of people actually do want new behaviors for our flying reptiles now that we have received more behaviors for our aquatic reptiles. Social animations is a big one that I've seen a lot of people throwing out as aquatics did actually get no social animations in this free update. Flying reptiles should definitely receive social animations at least at some point whether or not we get a flying DLC or not. Another thing that I know that people have been asking for for a while is the ability for our flying reptiles to be able to walk. Animals such as Quetzalcoatlus and if added the Hexagopters should definitely be able to walk. Honestly, every single flying reptile should be able to walk as we know that they wouldn't just be flying around all the time and would actually walk on land if given the opportunity. This is definitely something that should definitely add and would honestly increase the natural vibe of our flying reptiles. Another thing I could see them adding is diving animations for our flying reptiles. These diving animations would basically be the equivalent of our flying reptiles going into lagoons to catch different fish. This could also trigger us some sort of interactions between our aquatic reptiles and flying reptiles as it is possible that the aquatic reptiles could try and eat our flying reptiles for trying to eat their food. Now, another thing we've seen in this week update is a brand new attraction for the lagoons. If a flying pack were to occur, I definitely do want to at least add this one single attraction for our aviaries which I think would make them better. Aviary walkways. As we've seen in the original Jurassic World Evolution, aviaries actually did have walkways that we were able to view our flying reptiles from. The reintroduction of these walkways would honestly be much more useful as our flying reptiles are, are much more alive than in the previous game. This is something that I also see being thrown around when I hear people asking for some sort of flying reptiles update. But that's basically it for this video. What do you guys think of this? Would you want to see something like this? Is there any animals that I haven't mentioned that you would want to be added in, in this potential DLC? Please let me know down in the comments. And if you think I deserve it, make sure to like and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it, but I will see you guys next time.